It, it's a great day for a great team, right? Hello there to all concerned parents of graduating students who are setting their upcoming GCO or unlevel English exams in the next few months, right? I'm Edwin Evangelist Cheng, founder and principal master tutor of Edwish Learning Hub, your English language specialist, right? Now time really flies, and we have now down to our second last tip, right? Tip number six, and um, this will be basically a follow through from the last tip which I shared on argumentative writing. So for tip six, I'll be sharing with you um, how can your child adopt the correct writing style for argumentative topics. Now, parents, um, you know, uh, this is probably one of the most important um, or challenging hurdles or, uh, that your child has to overcome um, in order to fully master argumentative writing. Okay, um, reason being is because if you think about it. Your child has actually spent a good six years in primary school learning how to master creative or recall writing. Okay, and then for most schools in lower secondary, there are still some elements of creative recall writing. So the only time when your child um, truly starts uh, mastering and immersing themselves in argumentative writing is probably when he is in upper sec. All right, in secondary three. Now, if you put yourself in their shoes, you know, having spent a good six to eight years. Years, learning how to do creative recount writing, then all of a sudden, you know, they are thrown into the depths um, of the deep blue sea, and they have to start figuring out how to adopt a new writing style, the argumentative style, altogether. All right, and they only have that one and a half years or two years to master this new style altogether. Right, you will definitely understand why it is so challenging for many students, including your child. Okay, now, so I have some pointers on how your child can improve his writing style for argumentative writing. So pay close attention now. Uh, first and foremost, um, you know, um, advise your child to keep to the first and the third person pronoun. All right, and tell them do not use the second person pronoun. So second person pronoun words like you and your, it should not be featured anywhere in their writing. Okay, because if they write you and your, they are actually referring to the Cambridge marker, <laughs> and depending on what is the statement that is written, sometimes it might even sound offensive to the marker. All right, and that. Actually, you know, makes the writing style um, too conversational as well when they use your your. So they should just stick to the first person pronoun, which is what we call the I language. Okay. Now, uh, some instances of the I language is possible depending on the argumentative topic that is given to your child. All right. And if if your child wants to play safe altogether, then just advise him to just stick to the third person pronoun. <laughs> so let's use a topic for example. You know, teenagers should be banned from. From online games. Do you agree? Now, for a topic like that, uh, uh, how can your child use the person pronouns? Then he'll be referring um, to to the subject in his essay as individuals, or more specifically, teenagers use youngsters. Or if he's referring to the critics, the other school of thought, then it could perhaps be teachers or parents. All right. So. Doing keeping to the first and third person pronoun will help your child achieve an objective tone in their writing. Now, for um, now that you are well aware of uh, how important it is to adopt the correct writing style, um, the next question might be: So, what can your child do? What our advice is actually for your child to read quality sample essays. Now, when I say read, I do not mean memorize. Okay, memorizing doesn't work. All right, so don't get your child to memorize essays. But get your child to analyze the essays as they are reading it. Okay, when they are, what they should do when they read the essays is to analyze the sample essays for um, structures. That means how the writer organized uh, has organized their ideas. Um, also, look into the specific writing techniques, the style of writing that the writer has adopted. Okay, all right. So, so these will actually uh, help him uh, master the correct. Writing Writing style in the quickest possible, shortest time. Okay. Now, um, beware though. If you are thinking of going to the bookstore right now to get a essay guidebook for for your child, all right. 
Now, I, I have to warn you, the quality of the essays in these essay guidebooks, if you notice, all right, they varies. And the reason why they varies is because these essays are uh, usually written by students, all right, students uh, who have perhaps just completed their O-levels or A-levels and they just want to earn some extra uh, pocket money part-time and they submit these essays, you know, for publishing, all right? So, so beware of essay guidebooks, okay, um, because the quality um, of the essays might be questionable. So, um, what other sources could your child look towards, okay? Um, newspapers, Straits Times would be a great way to start, right? Look at the opinion pieces, that's one way. Or you can even advise your child to perhaps approach their, their English teacher for some good quality sample essays or, or, or advice or, or, you know, perhaps they could ask their teacher to photocopy, all right, samples of their peers who are, who are good writers in the cohort. So, you know, uh, reading reading these essays will definitely help them get up to speed with the correct uh, style of writing. Okay, so that's all I have for you for tip number six. And I look forward to sharing with you the last tip, tip number seven of our series. All right, so see you in the next tip.